Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the Pixello ChatGPT plugin that you can use to describe images, analyze what is happening on the image, and based on the image description you can create social media captions, descriptions, or anything else you need. Right before I would show you an actual example on how to use the Pixello ChatGPT plugin, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on this ChatGPT plugin where I talk about some of the use cases of this plugin and I also share some of the prompts you can use this plugin with. So if you're interested in more details, not just the example I'm going to show you, make sure to check out this article in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store you can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. Alright, but now let's see how to use the Pixello ChatGPT plugin. Before you would be able to use the plugin, you have to make sure that you have enabled the plugins feature in your ChatGPT account. And at the time of recording this video, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription to be able to enable plugins. If you don't know how to enable the plugins feature, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Then all you have to do is click on new chat on the top left corner, then select GPT-4 from the model selector, then click on this down arrow. And as you can see, for me, the Pixello plugin is already installed. If it's not for you, you have to scroll down and click on Plugin Store, then search for Pixello here and click on the Install button. Once you click on the Install button, you have to create a Pixello account. It's absolutely free to do. You can use a Google address or anything else like that, but it's necessary to be able to use the plugin. By the way, as we search for Pixello, you can see the Scene Explain ChatGPT plugin. I also have a tutorial on this plugin and it basically does the same thing. So if you are not happy with the results with Pixello, then you can also use this scene explain ChatGPT plugin. You can check out the tutorial, the YouTube video tutorial on this as well on my YouTube channel. And I'm not sure, but I think you don't need to sign up for an account if you want to use this plugin. And it's also working well for this image description tasks. Right, so once you have installed the plugin and created an account, last but not least, you have to enable the plugin and you can enable any plugin by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. So now we can start prompting the plugin and we're gonna be able to describe images using the plugin. Right, if you want to use image inputs in ChatGPT, all you have to do is copy the image address of your image and if you right click on the image you can see this copy image address option click on that and now we have copied the url of the image and we're going to be able to input this image to ChatGPT. if you have an image on your computer that you want to use in ChatGPT, first you have to upload it to an image sharing website and then you're going to be able to use that image in your image inputs all right, so once you have uh, copied the URL of the image, all you have to do is add a prompt like this. I'm going to use a very simple and short prompt in this example, but of course you can be more nuanced in your prompt. As I mentioned in the article linked in the description below, I share some other example of ChatGPT plugin prompts that you can use with the Pixello ChatGPT plugin and get some even more outputs from the Pixello ChatGPT plugin. But in this example, we just want the plugin to describe what is on this image and I have copy pasted the URL of the image we have just seen. Then all you have to do is click on send message here. So as you can see, you don't have to use any function or you don't have to say that you want to use the Pixel Low ChatGPT plugin. If the plugin is enabled, ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if you want to describe images or use image inputs, it has to use the Pixel Low ChatGPT plugin. And as you can see here, this is what ChatGPT has done. It has sent a request to Pixello using the image URL. And then based on that image URL, it was able to give us a description of the image. So as you can see, the image portrays a woman using an ATM machine. She seems to be in the process of withdrawing money or perhaps checking her account balance. Standing next to her, a man is looking on, possibly looking on, possibly waiting for his turn or accompanying the woman. And if you check the image, it's a great description of this image, as you can see here. 
So this is the simplest way to use this plugin, but of course you can use this plugin for other use cases. So for instance, generating social media captions, using images to create Facebook ad copies, and there are many more use cases I mentioned. You can check out the article in the description below to get more details about this plugin. And if you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins that can be used not only for describing images or generating AI images, but for other marketing tasks or for SEO, scientific research, finance, business, cryptocurrencies, and many more. I have a ton of ChatGPT plugins tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can also check out. And more are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.